Today I'm gonna be talking about unpopular opinions that I don't really see a lot of people talking about on the internet. I know you guys know me for talking a lot of shit, but you haven't seen nothing yet. I'm pretty sure this is the video that's gonna get my YouTube channel banned. So if you're easily offended, you probably wanna click off this video. Let's get straight to it. Chris Brown and Rihanna altercation happened 15 years ago, but you guys are still stopping him from performing at certain venues. She forgave him, they made amends, but you're still mad. It's not that deep, get over it. There would be a lot more deadbeat mothers if the government didn't offer them assistance. I'm still going to listen to R. Kelly, just like how you guys still listen to Michael Jackson, Trey Song, and Charlemagne the God. I don't ever give homeless people money. We live in the US. It's really not that hard to get a fucking job. If you ask me for money, I'm gonna give you an application. If you ask me for money, I'll give you a sandwich. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. I remember when I was 15 in high school. I think I was a sophomore at that time. I was walking home from school and I noticed a homeless man. He came up to me, he said, hey young man, do you have any money on you so I get something to eat? I was like, yeah, there's a McDonald's right there. I could get you some food. I ain't gonna give you my $5, but I'll use that $5 to get you food. He agreed, so I went inside the McDonald's and I bought him a dollar cheeseburger. So I walked out to McDonald's and I handed him the cheeseburger. He grabbed it and he opened the top bun and he was like, does this have onions? I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh, I don't really fuck with onions. And he wrapped it up and gave it back to me and continue on begging. You ungrateful mother. If Patrice O'Neal was alive, he would have been the greatest comedian of all time. He would have set the bar so high, certain comics we have today wouldn't have a career because he would have been the standard to what comedy is. Trump did more for black people than Obama did. I don't believe in the term believe all women because these bitches be lying. A lot of people are becoming Muslim because being Muslim is now mainstream, not because they care about the religion. I want to ask you now, because this is the hot topic, especially in the Muslim community, about your conversion. Yeah. So tell us the story, like what happened exactly? Well, I think a lot of people who've been following me for a while understand that I've been mm. very respectful of Islam for a long time. Yeah, sure. I was born in a Christian country. I was raised as a Christian. And I've always been very respectful of Islam. And it's become more and more obvious to me and, and more and more pertinent that Islam is the last religion mm. on the planet. Mm. I'd rather call you by your name than call you they, there, or them. I'm not doing that. Walmart should not be selling guns. And able to purchase a firearm, you should be 21 years old, just like we do it with alcohol. Wearing ripped clothes is not a fashion statement. You look homeless. No logical person should be wearing ripped clothes. It looks stupid. Having a BBL is a turn off. I don't know how you walk around with a balloon in your ass. I've had sex with girls with BBLs, Trust me, it's not all that. I don't think you can have a BBL and not be insecure. Drake is a good artist, but do I think he's good because I was able to form my own opinion about him? Or is it the fact that he's constantly being pushed in my face through Twitter and Instagram and all these social media platforms that force me to like him? Like soon as I go outside, it's gonna be a motherfucker playing Drake at a red light. I can't escape him. TikTok is single-handedly the reason why kids in the US have the attention span of a branch. That's why a lot of countries are starting to ban it. Fresh from Fresh and Fit is useless. No original opinion, no charisma, no bravado. My rent is better off leaving that seat empty. The reason why like a lot of people in, in, uh, in the whole community hate on you is because of the fact that whatever you do to bring value is not seen. There's a level of like incompetence that comes across and because you don't speak well and you stutter, and it seems like your, I guess your growth in that aspect is super slow. From the outside looking in, it looks almost like you're leeching. So a lot of people look at you and they go, wait, man, I can do that better than he can. I can talk better than he can. I can act better than he can. I can regurgitate the same talking points better than he can. So that's why people look at you and they go, yeah, no, nah, we don't really fuck with that guy. Okay, so I know I have things to work on. And once again, everyone does. So just because I didn't work on that all the way, um, doesn't mean that, like, I'm a bad person. What the fuck are you talking about? I like capitalism, but there's no way in hell a only fan girl should be making more money than a construction worker and a truck driver. Lil Nas X is gay as fuck. You shouldn't use your zodiac sign to justify your shitty behavior. You don't have chlamydia because you're a Pisces. You have chlamydia because you're a whore. Don't send my tax money to Ukraine. There's literally veterans in this country that's living paycheck to paycheck. Take care of them first. Stop calling white people racist because they don't agree with your opinion. Grow up. Toxic masculinity doesn't exist. That phrase was created by feminists to emasculate men. How are you going to weaponize a gender attribute by associating it with the word toxic? Toxic masculinity exists, but toxic femininity don't? Make that make sense. You don't owe your job a two week notice. I know society normalized you giving your job a two week notice, but you don't have to. Cause best believe when they wanna fire you, they're not gonna give you a heads up. So next time you leave your job, just leave. And I hate the fact that people try to tell you don't burn bridges because you might wanna come back. Fuck that. You gonna find out I quit the day of. I don't feel bad for Logan Paul fiance. You knew he was a piece of shit 
but you decided to date him anyway. Now you're a piece of shit by association. Pearly thinks just say what she thinks men want to hear. She has no original thought. You're talking about women predominantly, um, which is why you've got this big following. And your view is that modern feminism is deeply flawed. I would argue a lot of your proposals, like taking the vote away from women, are <laughs> deeply regressive. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to remove, just from yourself, the right to vote? Well, um, what happened was I, I had the same view, right? Um, back when I started, I was like, why? I found out that only 5% of women wanted the right to vote. And I couldn't figure out, like, why would women not... No, it's true. It's well, true. You look it up. At the time. At the time. Because they've been conditioned by men to think that they shouldn't have a vote. I, I mean, that's what they say. But, you know, I started reading their writings, right? And what I found out was that the reason a lot of women advocated for it was because they believed it was the beginning of the breakdown of the family. You know, before you became one in marriage, 85% of people were married. And, you know, I, I hate to say it, but they were right. What has happened 100 years later? Joe Rogan should not be doing stand-up. A lot of YouTubers make content based off what they think their audience want, not because they care about the subject matter. For example, Spencer Cornelia, his content is about scammers and pyramid schemes. But when one of his friends was involved in one, he refused to talk about it. Tasha K lied about Cardi B having a STD, and y'all still follow her. Y'all make me sick. There's no such thing as homophobic or fatphobic. I'm not scared of you. Jesse Smollett should have spent 10 years in jail for pulling off that bullshit. Charleston White be speaking some truth sometimes. Well, your fans always want me to ask you, why don't you say anything about police brutality? Uh, when last time police done killed a nigga? That shit happens a lot. But they- It, it may not be, it, it may not be George Floyd media status, but that shit happens a lot. Okay, so uh, I often look at those statistics. Uh, the police shoot more mentally ill white men than anybody. The white boy mama who done called the police on him, Cause he had to have, so if you look at the statistics, the police on the average shoot more white people than they do black people. Uh, I'm a guy that's big, big on statistics. Police shootings, and I want people to really hear me, homie. Police shootings, killing the unarmed nigga is the least of our problems in America. It's the least of our problems. They don't, they ain't, they ain't shot now nigga on his way to school. They ain't shot no nigga getting off work. They ain't shot no nigga in a, in a high visibility construction vest. They ain't shot a nigga in no suit. They ain't shot now nigga with his pants pulled up and his shirt tail tucked in. When I watched the country not have no outrage for Tamir Rice, there was no need for me to speak. There's no, there was no need for me to speak on, on police brutality because police brutality is small compared to black on black homicide rates. Police brutality is small to the 73% of households that headed by single women. Police brutality is small compared to only 33, 36% of black children can read on or above their grade level. Police brutality is small when you got over 2 million children in, in the United States of America who suffer from hunger. Nah, homie, that's the least of our problems. Jack Harlow is not a good artist. I don't know how long that Drake association is gonna last, but even Drake can't carry your career. Sexy Red is a disgrace. Black Lives Matter scammed a whole bunch of people. Somebody need to be in jail. Band man Kevo got a BBL. Nigga, you gay. I don't know why this guy's famous. Blueface and Christian Rock had a clout baby. Two weeks after giving birth, she was already giving that motherfucker scoliosis. Lizzo is famous because she's fat and positive. Not because she's talented. I don't know why this guy's famous. 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 Guy famous. But yeah, that's my little rant. Let me know if you want more of these. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.